Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Set up your opinion banger and you exclusively you will definitely be notified. Joe the Juggernaut Joyce knocked out Carlos Takam in the sixth round. Before I began to analyze this fight, I have to say um, congratulations to the Juggernaut Joyce um, and congratulations to Carlos Takam. This was an entertaining fight. Takam surprised me though. He surprised me a lot. Surprised me. Takam came, came in game. Came in with a different attitude. Gave Joe Joyce a lot of problems. A lot of problems. He tossed Joe Joyce. He hit Joe Joyce harder than I've ever seen Joe Joyce before. Like, he landed more uh, he landed more punches than I've ever seen that I've ever seen um, opponents land on Joe Joyce. We know Joe Joyce is a guy that just that would just uh is a bulldozer, you know. He come forward and, and, and blow you up. Carlos Takam wasn't ready to go. Takam is an African lion at the age of let's say fifty. I know on boss reg is forty two, we know we know now we we this guy is still very much determined, very much hungry. And I think this uh, fight was stopped a little bit uh, too early by the referee. Anyway, let me not waste you guys time a little bit. Uh, let me, let's take a look at the stoppage right here. And we're going to analyze it right here. Dwight, if you're watching. I tell you what, Joe would have been careful. Oh, fantastic left hook from Joe. That was where Juju was wobbled. You know, um, Carlos Takam in the sixth round. Once he did that, Takam, you know, wasn't expecting Joe Joyce to hurt him like that. And you know what he just does. He pounced on him. Joe Joyce pounced on him recklessly. He was about to go crazy. And then, at some point, stick to his fundamentals. Oh, he's going to jump all over him now. He's got him going. Yeah, this was him going wild right here. This... Is a dangerous stance. If, for example, Takam was himself, he probably would have countered Joe Joyce. Countered Joe Joyce with a left hook would be would have been devastating for Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce took a lot, a lot of uh, got, got got punched by Takam a lot of time and they were bowling, but you know Joe Joyce felt Takam's power. Just needs to be careful. And Still now don't you know, out. have been. A he perfect timing for Takam, you see, he went Just to the body to there, but he didn't get it. Takam can bowl one over. Takam, has he regrouped? Joe Joyce went wide and wide and wide Joyce and wide and then set it down. Now, now here you see him setting it down right here. That's better. That's better. Yeah. And then going now, picking his punches, picking his punches, picking his punches. Akam was then still trying to survive. He's trying to survive. But Joe Joyce was just coming forward. Jokona was just punching. He kept punching. And the referee stopped it right here, as you can see. So this was a great win for the Jokona Joyce. A good win for him. Joe now has uh, 13 fights with the knockouts. So the guy, he's actually cruising, you know, actually on the top. Joe Joyce, I say, have to be ranked among the among the uh, top best everywhere in the world right now. The guy, of course, arguably has the 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 strongest chin in the heavyweight division. Although, you know, he gets it a lot. You know, this time around, I think Joe Joyce would like. I think Katakam's height played a huge part as well, okay, in Jojo's getting hit. I think Takam's height was just too, 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 too troubling for Jojo's. 
because in the earlier in the earlier um and the other rounds round one round two you can as well see how takam was very effective he knew when to when 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 to when to attack jojo he knew when to get away i think takam got got tired in the hand of and the hand of round four so his legs were already heavy in a way and you can understand that and age also plays a factor you know so i want to say congratulations to your leg look you see the right that over right hand that's a great override you know from takam and the dress already like you know like slipped away before uh you know takam threw it so takam tried his best i'm uh, very impressed with uh, takam's performance uh unlike his last performance which was very dull this one was very very interesting i liked uh joe joyce um um relentless you know I me mean? in being very relentless and uh, you know when you are relentless by the way look at an drum flag there as you can see right here so when you're being relentless you know like joe joyce when you're a guy who will wants to get a win you know your weak power you know once like you you have such a gross of uh, a, a big energetic energy energetic spirit to want to win joyce has advantage his chin is an advantage his confidence is an advantage you know his energy is an advantage the guy never gets tired he hardly gets tired and i think in this fight of course the camp he would have knocked that come out stopped him at some point uh but the stoppage in the sixth round was a little bit uh too uh early i must say uh, for takan for someone of a takan's caliber i think the referee should have allowed it to continue and give him a chance because takan has been there and done that and it's competed in so many um championship uh, you know um about you know be it on world level or local level he's also an olympian this was a good fight a great fight takam landed more punches on joe joyce um more concrete punches on him than i've seen and joe joyce i can tell joe joyce um does uh i think joe joyce um uh, had a problem with uh, with takam's height and takam's movement how he was moving his head and you know weaving bobbing and weaving and all this kind of stuff so it, that gave the dress some sort of like yeah i mean that gave him sort of problem and i said okay now I'm sure. i mean this guy's just coming like he's he's not standing he's not standing still against dubois jojo has managed you know he managed to neutralize dubois jab because dubois is a big man and just knew what, what, what when what, how when the dubois was about to unload you know and also i think jojo's head movement need to improve okay um uh, his last fight against dubois i it was really impressive for me because of how well he moved how well he you know he was able to move away and you know use his feet more in this fight jojo just walked forward which uh which is not a bad thing at the same time what if they come um, you know landed a punch that you dress didn't, didn't see coming you know what would have happened so anyway guys give it a thumbs below like the video share subscribe i appreciate you all for supporting the channel this was a good fight how do you see this fight and um what how do you rate uh uh takan's um performance and jojo's performance comment below let us know right here and yeah god bless you all always supported BBC.